Hey y'all, Chuck here. I'm uh, going to be doing a comparison today. Um, I was trying when I did the last video. I did the Amazon Basin by CAO, and uh, I didn't because I didn't have a Fumum Corda, and I've been calling it a Gorda, but it's a Corda. So um, I've got uh, a Fumum um, Corda now. And then we're going to try it out and see if this thing has a bad draw like I've been told before and which I experienced myself on the last one I smoked. Uh, even though I gave it rave reviews at Outman's, because um, I do really like the flavor on this thing, but uh, the draw was hard and I told y'all in that video that, or in, in that uh, story that I, th I found the draw to be hard. So I'm going to uh, be smoking this today, the Puma Corda and uh, we'll see how this works out um, whether we get a good draw on it that's the big question right now so i'm gonna of course i'm gonna cut it with my calibri cutter i like the v cut as i've told y'all before and uh, we're gonna see how it draws mm. that's a hard draw that's a hard draw Let's smoke it a while and see what we get, you know. But uh, for the biggest part, that doesn't, I'm not enthusiastic right off. Let's see here. I'm going to toast it a little bit. I, I taste it on the uh, dried draw there. I taste the, uh, the flavors in it. It's just, it's got a sweet flavor and a real earthy taste to it. So we're going to see how this works out. Got that, that nice taste to it. It's a real earthy taste, which I, I like quite a bit. Um, it's just that draw on these things that it leaves me to not be real happy with it. Hmm. A lot of smoke coming off the end of it, but not a lot of smoke coming through it. Anyhow, we're going to smoke on this for a while and see how it turns out. I'll be back with you in a minute. Alright, I'm a little ways into the burn now. And, uh, it's not, it's still drawing a little tight, but not too bad. Um, it's smokable, you know. I'm not, uh, I'm not catching a lot of them flavors like I did last time. Uh, it's more of a, it's still got an earthy taste to it. Uh, maybe a little leather, a little pepper. But, uh, not doing too bad. By the way, my backdrop, this is Rebel's place. My buddy Rebel that uh, I stay down here in South Carolina with him quite a bit. Uh, when I'm traveling this part of the country. And this is uh, the backdrop I wanted to do for my first video. I was hoping to do this backdrop for, um, well, on my bike, but uh, didn't work out like that. Uh, the bike's been in the shop. Right now it's on the trailer, so I decided I'd go ahead and get on with this thing, not worry about the bike and this. But anyhow, but we're smoking the Fuma and Corda by CAO. Turning out to be not a bad stick. Yeah. We'll get back to you. All right, here we are. I guess we're a little under a third of the way down. Burning nicely. It's uh, got a nice solid ash on it. We'll see how long that ash holds up there. Um, it's drawing. Okay. 
could be a little better, but it's not too bad. It's, it's definitely, I can definitely live with that. Anyhow, we'll let you, we'll be back in a jiff, man. Okay, we're about 20 minutes into this stick, or 26 minutes in. We still got a nice ash on there. It's, it's run pretty smooth. I'm picking up some sweetness in it. I'm not sure what that is. Just a little bit sweet. And uh, still that, that full uh, earthy taste and also the, um, what you call it, the, um, bit of pepper in there. But still burning pretty good though. I'm probably not going to get all the way through this video. I've got other plans made so. <laughs> but uh, this and this cigar is going to last quite a while. But uh, it's turning out to be a nice stick after all. Be back. Okay. This is all about whether or not this Fuma and Corda would uh, have a good draw on it. And uh, it's still a little tight, man. I, I saw something that was written about it that said that it's tightly packed, but uh, I'm, I have to say that it's not a bad stick. Um, it's got great flavor to it. You can see that ash there I'm, uh, coming up on halfway through, and that ash is still hanging in there. So I'm thinking that uh, I'm going to give this cigar a thumbs up. You know, um, <clears throat> I know I've had you know I've had some tight draws, and Kelly told me about one he couldn't even smoke, but uh, this particular stick is doing okay. And I talked to some other guys yesterday about it, and um, they said they hadn't run into that other than it does have a little bit of a tight draw, but it's overall it's a great stick. So I'm going to give it the thumbs up, and I'm going to probably I'm going to be riding my bike here in a minute, and I'm probably going to smoke this going down the road. Anyhow, y'all have a great day. Come see us at CigarPals.com.